Hi, John Fugel here, founder of Recruit Me, and well, we've turned the calendar page. Here we are in May, and now it's time to look towards the summer, isn't it? <laughs> uh, school year is coming to an end. Here in Colorado, it ends the middle of May. I can't believe it. Uh, we lived in California for 30 years, and I'll tell you, I think that was the latest school year. It was towards the end of June, it seemed. But anyway, uh, different calendars. In any case, you got to be looking forward to the summer. And maybe your son or daughter has some plans. Hopefully they do, uh, whether it be uh, tournaments or uh, showcases, uh, combine, um, club team, that type of thing, some travel. We did a bunch of travel with our two sons in the summer. We were in a small town, so a lot of our competition was a long ways away. Uh, spent a lot of nights on the road. But good memories, good memories, and hopefully you'll have good memories too. Now, if you have any questions, by the way, about anything you've read on the website or seen on a blog or watched in the videos, uh, please don't hesitate to ask me, john at recruitme.com, john at recruitme.com. I've enjoyed questions that I've gotten and dialoguing with some of the parents. It's been fantastic. But uh, I thought in this blog I'd go face to face with you, get a chance to give a little verbal and visual here as we walk through some of the recruiting principles, something that I hope will be a benefit for you and your family as we get into the summer and prepare for the summer. And I guess you could say uh, the title of this is, What Are College Coaches Looking For? What are college coaches looking for in uh, scholarship athletes? I think the list is pretty long, and I'm not going to go through a whole list of things. I, I pulled out five key ones that I thought I'd share with you that would be helpful, and maybe put these in perspective as well. Of course, the first one is talent. Uh, your son or daughter has to have talent. Uh, the question you may be asking is, well, how much talent in order to be a scholarship athlete? How much talent? And that's a good question. But I, I do have to tell you that your son or daughter doesn't have to be the best athlete on the team or even even in the top five, doesn't have to be the best athlete in the county or the league. Uh, that's, that's not the case, and that, that's a myth that uh, some families really fall for, and that doesn't have to be the case. We know that by experience, and I've seen athlete after athlete receive an athletic scholarship because uh, they pursue it even though they're not the best athlete on the team. So you got to have talent to move to the next level. And uh, maybe your high school coach would be able to tell you that about your son or daughter. Uh, you may even know some, some college coaches who would give you that input or others that would let you know, does my son or daughter have the talent to compete at the next level? And are they a scholarship athlete? Uh, I, I think you may be surprised. You may think, uh, is this scholarship? I, I don't know. It's, it's only reserved for the elite. And that's not the case. So that's the first thing that college coaches are looking for is talent, and you've got to make that determination as your son or daughter uh, able to compete at the next level. Are they a scholarship athlete? So get some opinions on that. It rolls into the next thing that I, I want to point out here uh, that college coaches are looking for. They're looking for student athletes that will be a good fit. Uh, and this really goes back to that, that first point of, of talent. Uh, they want to know that your son or daughter at their talent level is going to be a good fit in their program and also in their league who they in conference who they compete with. So it's got to be a good fit from that perspective, from a talent perspective. Also, got to be a good fit from if, if your son or daughter is in a position sport, uh, does, does that team, does that program need someone in that slot, in that position in the year that your son or daughter will be entering. They've got to look at their whole roster and they're saying, wow, I need someone here or here or here. And maybe it does or doesn't fit with what uh, your son or daughter competes in. So that is part of a good fit. Now let me turn it around and say that the program, the school, uh, the university needs to be a good fit for your son or daughter as well. And I'm thinking not only athletics, but academics. So think about that. Is that is do they offer the kind of programs academically that are going to be a good fit for your son or daughter? There's so many other things and so many other factors when it comes to being a good fit, uh, but those are a couple of them. Talent level, uh, as far as uh, conference, as far as position player, do they need somebody in that position? So uh, those are some of the things. But when you think of fit, that's that's very important. And you may get some rejection letters. Your son or daughter may get some rejection letters from some coaches 
not because of their talent level, but just because it's not going to be a good fit for their program at that time. Uh, then the third thing, I, I just touched on something here, but I wanted to point this out. The third thing that a college coach is looking for is academics. Yeah, good grades, test scores, uh, depends on the school, depends on the level of, of that school's standards as far as what they are looking for and what will fit at that college or university because they want student athletes that are going to stay, not student athletes that are going to leave after a couple years because they couldn't make the grade, literally, but they wanna, they're looking ahead and they're saying, will that student athlete be here two, three, and even four years from now? They want a student athlete that will stay. So academics are very important. Uh, you may want to bring your, your son or daughter in on this point because sometimes they don't think about that, but that is, that's huge. It's huge. Academics is a, is, is a big deal. Um, the, the fourth thing that college coaches are looking for is attitude. Attitude. Uh, it's not just talent. It's about the fit of attitude as well. And they, they can see that. That's why they like to see uh, video that doesn't just highlight the skills of your son or daughter, but they want to see your son or daughter in full competition. If it's in a football game, they want some, some running footage. If it's baseball, they want some running footage of, of the game, soccer, basketball. They want to see how your son or daughter handles adversity. They want to see how your son or daughter, uh, what attitude they exhibit on the court. Or do they hustle? Um, they want to see the enthusiasm. They, they're looking for a number of things that are beyond athletic ability, and it's all about attitude. And they can pick that up as well when they begin conversing with, with your son or daughter. How is their attitude? So be, be looking at that. So we have talent. We have good fit. We have academics. We have attitude. And the fifth thing that coaches are looking for is love for the sport. Love for the sport. That's got to be there. Because when you move from high school to college, it's a whole different world. That sport will take up a lot of time, not just in season, but out of season. Now, agreed that uh, Division One it's basically your life. Division Two not as much, and Division Three not as much as that. So, uh, but the coach wants to know that you really love the sport and you're going to stay there. That you're a recruit, your son or daughter is a recruit that is going to stick with the program, really loves this sport, it isn't just... Uh, maybe doing it recreationally because it does take a lot of time, a lot of effort. It does consume you at the college level. So they want to detect that. Does your son or daughter love the sport? Let me back up just for a, for a second here and talk about uh, this thing about good fit because I want to, uh, I, I mentioned the three division levels and not all athletes are made to be division one, not just from a talent level. Not all athletes are made to be Division II. Some are, are Division III. And it, it doesn't mean you're less of an athlete. The D3 schools are some of the best programs around academically. And when you're thinking about college sports, it is your stepping stone to the future. So whether it's Division I, II, or three, you want it to be a good fit. You don't want to uh, have your, your son or daughter go to a D1 school and just sit on the bench and not get a chance to compete because it wasn't a good fit. Maybe D2 is a best fit. Maybe D3 is a best fit. You've really got to uh, you, really look at that and discern that as you go along. So I, I wanted to add an exclamation point to that good fit because when it comes down to it, you want your son or daughter to be at just the right place for them to compete. Well, I hope those five things have been helpful for you. Uh, there are many more, of course, college coaches looking for a lot of other things, but I wanted to just touch on those five because I feel those are uh, five of the most important things that I could bring you. So that's it for this week. Make sure you check back next week. We'll do some more video and more audio and, of course, the written word. God bless. Take care.